Hi, I'm Cindy. I'm Taryn. And I'm Randy. And you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. so fast, people from all over will start moving back. If you do win, Mayor, they're going to change the rules. They're only going to give you half the keys. You know that, don't you? No, I'm going to have all the keys. They're going to have to make me some new ones. We're going to build up everything. Take a look at this. We finally get a supermarket in the Hill District. New apartments, the Sarah Degree House. Do you know Sarah Degree was the first black registered nurse in Pittsburgh? This is just the beginning. So Radio Golf. Um, the last August Wilson play in his series about the African-American experience. Um, the last play he wrote before he passed away. Radio Golf was um, set in 1997 in uh, Pittsburgh, PA, and it was a story about a, um, an inner city um, developer. Harmon Wilkes is a guy that grew up in Pittsburgh. He is um, running for mayor. He has a very, he's very determined to uh, get the city moving in a different direction. Harmond is, never questions whether or not he's going to do the right thing. He's always going to do the right thing. He does the right thing from the beginning to the end. On the other hand, there's the partner, his business partner, who is, um, you know, willing to uh, be the black face behind a company if it means, um, you know, getting minority dollars. The conflict that comes up is that his, there's a house in the way and he kind of acquired the house illegally. It deals with, um, a, you know, black would-be politician um, who's seeing whether or not the American dream really um, affords space for him and you know, for other black people. I was actually as excited to see um, one of, well, August Wilson's last uh, play. Um, I saw his other play, Jitney, and I mean, that was phenomenal. And I was, so I kind of had an expectation for this one to be on that same level. And it was, it was a great play. Harry Lennox was an excellent actor. You could really feel his character and you could feel the dilemma and you could you know feel the angst and the the turmoil going on in his mind of course anthony chisholm i mean you know him from oz and all the other shows that he played in and i mean he is he played the role that he's great at he kind of plays this kind of nutty character but you know he still gets the uh the deep point across to the audience and you know you kind of laugh at him but then you sit back and you're like oh wow yeah that's a good point like you know he was a really good character. <laughs> James A. Williams who plays Roosevelt Hicks is a very dynamic presence on the stage during the play. He's described as a rooster and he fits the part to a T by puffing his chest out and prancing around the office. The set of the play was outstanding. I think of all the plays that I saw this year and my Broadway.com experience, um, I enjoyed this set the most. The detail was amazing. What I, what I loved about Radio Golf was that it had a big idea behind it and it wasn't afraid to explore questions that I think people don't necessarily think about on a daily basis, but is really interwoven in the fabric of everybody's life. So I love that. I love going to the theater and I love being challenged intellectually. I, I just think that there were a little bit too many speeches and some of the ideas that were coming across in those speeches maybe could have come across in a dialogue between the different characters where they explored each other's theories a little bit more. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was one of the best plays I've seen. I enjoyed it a lot because it kept moving. There weren't any dull moments. Uh, you weren't sitting there looking at your clock like, all right, when we going to get to the next part. Um, it was a really good play. Uh, at night at the theater, it was it was very entertaining. Um, the actors were all excellent. Uh, they gave excellent performances. It was a long play, a very long play with a lot of dialogue. So I have to say, at times, it was difficult to follow. I think it's definitely for, I would say, a mature audience. Not that there's, I mean, there's cursing, but it's really, I don't really know, I didn't notice it too much. I think in order to get the meaning of the play, I think is, you know, better for a mature audience. 
but anybody really. I think it's wonderful and I think everyone should experience it. The overall impression was that if you want to go to the theater and you know, think about what it's like to live in a society, a multicultural society where people not only um, are trying to get along on a daily basis but are trying to um, aspire to things and decide how much of themselves they're going to give up in order to assimilate and in order to be successful, then this is a great play. Well, rightly or wrongly, we're going to tear down the house. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Say that again. Did I hear that shit right? <laughs> rightly or wrongly, you're going to tear down Mr. Barlow's house? Rightly or wrongly? It don't matter to you if it's wrong? I didn't say it didn't matter to you.